presentation of the colors. Star Spangled Banner. Jet? Huh! Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars throw the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang Thank you, Victoria. Please remain standing. Uh, now, Father Eric Rauser will do the invocation. Uncover. So let us raise our minds and our hearts to Almighty God. As we pray, O God of the nations, we gather this day to seek your blessings upon this Gold Star Mother's Memorial Bridge. May all who travel over this bridge arrive to their destiny in safety and in peace. In years gone by, this bridge was a bridge of tears and of goodbyes, a bridge of prayers and hopes as our young soldiers were sent off to war. Many of our sons and brothers did not cross back over this bridge, but rather went to their eternal reward, paying the ultimate sacrifice for their beloved country. May then this bridge always be a reminder for all who pass over it 
of those who died in service of our country. May it be a reminder to all of us to be ever so grateful for all of our veterans and their families. May the Gold Star Mothers be blessed for giving this world their children. May all who cross over this bridge lift up to you a prayer of hope, of peace, and of thanksgiving. Until that day, all of us cross that eternal bridge to our true home. Amen. Please be seated. Probably the most important part of this program is right now. I want to ask the uh, Veteran Service Administrator Vito Pinto to come up and do the introduction of the Gold Star Mothers. Vito? Thank you. Thank you, Commander Forster and Commander Mamana, Commander Simmons. It's indeed an honor. Fourth Sunday of each September is our annual Gold Star Mothers Day in which we commemorate and remember, remember the lives of those lost. We have with us here today the president of the Gold Star Mothers Association, Hope Hollingsworth Coxum. Staff Sergeant Courtney Hollingsworth was killed in Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom. We have with us Alma Sullivan, Sergeant Raleigh A. Wiltshire, who was killed in Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom. We have with us also Sandra Jones, Lance Corporal Greg Weish, killed in action during Lebanon, 10-23-1983. We have with us Emily Toro, Private Isaac T. Cortez, killed in action, OIF, OEF. We also have our own hometown, Julia Bruckner, uh, Sergeant Howard Bruckner, killed on 8-18-69 in Vietnam. We'd like to pay our respects to you four for being here, or five, and we always will remember Gold Star mothers and their families and for the loss of the service of your loved ones. Thank you. Thank you, Vito. Um, before I call the next two gentlemen up, I want to do a couple of things. First is, is thank Victoria. She's always come every time I called her. She hasn't hesitated. And um, beautiful voice, a beautiful girl. So look for her on the internet and uh, you'll be seeing more of her with us. Uh, before I introduce our next two gentlemen, I'd just like to say, you know, it's been about 14 years since we made that first request to name this bridge for the Gold Star Mothers. 12 years ago, I, I stood in Depot Square for a ceremony for the second time on that small monument there. And I spoke about the failure to have that bridge named and the failure to get an okay for a Gold Star Monument in East Chester. It was very hard for us veterans to understand how anyone could oppose those two requests. And we stand here today to do this. We also have the most beautiful monument in the country in East Chester. And that's because two men, not veterans, but politicians, also came to understand, and they couldn't understand why. And we want to thank Mayor Steve Eklund and Supervisor Anthony Calavita for standing by our side and standing up to honor the Gold Star Mothers. <laughs> and without further ado, Mayor Steve Eklund. Good morning, everybody. I want to thank everyone for coming here on this uh, bright and beautiful morning. And I just want to take a moment here to recognize some uh, other very important elected officials that we have with us here today. We have our state senator, George Latimer, is here. We have our assemblywoman, Amy Paulin, is here with us. Our county legislator, Sheila Marcott, is joining us here today. Um, as Commander Foster just mentioned, of course, we have East Chester Town Supervisor Anthony Calavita, and the entire town board is here to support us as well. Bronxville Mayor Mary Marvin is here. I want to thank her for coming. And we have the Tuckahoe Village Board here in support as well. Deputy Mayor Tom Giordano here. Thank you very much. Um, I want to recognize our Fire Chief Mike Rogan is here. Commissioner O'Hare, I saw him here as well as well as I want to recognize Sergeant David Alvarez, uh, I'm sorry, Almanza, 
and Specialist Gonzalez from the 101st Battalion from Yonkers for coming today. Thank you. Uh, before I say a couple of words, I just want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Commander Bob Foster from the VFW Post 2285 in Eastchester, Tuckahoe, and Commander Joe Mamama from the American Legion Post 979 in Eastchester, Scarsdale. For most of you who don't realize this, these two gentlemen spend countless hours making sure our veterans in Tuckahoe and Eastchester receive the recognition that they and their families deserve. They do this out of duty, out of commitment and compassion to their brothers and sisters in our military. I doubt very much we would be standing on the Gold Star Mothers Memorial Bridge if it wasn't for these two fine gentlemen. There are many others who also deserve thanks today. I want to thank Mr. Ben Spadaro and of course Mr. Vito Pinto who heads the Westchester County Veterans Service Agency, just to name a few. Again, I want to thank the Village Board of Trustees for their support on this memorial and also Frank DeMarco, he's from our Public Works Department for his help in the coordination of getting the plaques made. I also want to thank the young men from the Eastchester Boy Scout Troop 353 who are here today. Today is our day to pay tribute to our Gold Star Mothers. The mothers who carry on their lives with pride and resolve despite their unthinkable loss. Today we reflect on our, on our obligation to those who have laid down their lives so that we can live in peace. As a grateful village, we will never forget their sacrifice. Gold Star Mother's Day was first recognized by Act of Congress in 1936 to honor the families who lost a loved one during war. This is the 77th year of this official recognition. Gold Star Mother's Day always falls on the last Sunday in September. The names come from flags that families used to hang in their windows during World War I. A blue star represented a living serviceman, while a gold star was reserved for those who had fallen in battle. Many people have praised our efforts to finally make this dedication. I wish we never had the events that have led us here to do this today. I wish no parent should ever have to bear the burden of outliving their child. I wish that no mother will ever cross over this bridge again only to say goodbye to their child for the very last time. And finally, I wish that this plaque will give people who cross over this bridge a chance to pause and reflect on the words now etched here forever. And these words are, down through the years, countless mothers walked their sons and daughters across this bridge to the platform below and sent them off to defend our country. This bridge is dedicated to the mothers of those who never came home. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. And now, uh, Supervisor Calavita. Good morning, everyone. Reverend clergy, Gold Star mothers, veterans, fellow elected officials, friends and neighbors. We gather here today upon this historic bridge to recognize and honor Gold Star Mothers, for they have borne the anguish of the ultimate sacrifice made by their child for the sake of this great country. Lincoln said freedom did not come cheaply. It was paid for by armed forces, flesh and blood, the very flesh and blood of our Gold Star Mothers. The grief and loss these women have endured never leaves them, yet they rise above their pain in tribute to life continuing. They devote their time to supporting our armed forces and encouraging patriotism. They serve as models of strength and grace. As we honor their patriotism and dedication, we are inspired by them and renew our commitment to upholding the honorable legacy of their fallen children. The loss of a child is a grievous blow to a family, but is unique to the mother who bore that child. As I have always said, if there is no love like a mother's love, then there can be no heartache like a mother's heartache upon learning that their blue star has turned to gold. Making this bridge a fitting tribute to our Gold Star Mothers was an exceptional idea, and I thank, wholeheartedly thank the village of Tuckahoe and its board and all of its residents for having the foresight and the strength 
to do this, as well as our distinguished veterans who have done so much, not just in East Chester for the cause of veterans, but all throughout this region. You may recall that several years ago, a big photograph appeared in the New York Times where our veterans were there advocating for Gold Star Mothers to make sure that mothers that lost their children in war but weren't citizens were recognized by this great nation as Gold Star Mothers. They led the charge, they made that happen, and they do a fantastic job every single day looking out for Gold Star Mothers, for veterans, and this community at large. This is an excellent idea. I commend everyone for this. I'm glad to be participating today in this ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Supervisor. Uh, the next gentleman I want to call up is uh, Senator Latimer. You know, it's kind of hard for a conservative Republican to say I really enjoy what he has to say every time he comes up. But I think we all realize on a day like today is whatever our philosophies may be, we are all Americans on a day like today. And that is what unites us much greater than any of the other things that divide us. Um, Father Eric launched the, the theme that really struck me as I stand here watching Metro North trains go back and forth. And I think of the song, I think it's attributed to the Civil War, when Johnny comes marching home. And of course, the Johnnies and the Sams and the Franks and the Lou's were on these trains heading off to their assignments, whether it was in World War I or World War II, Korea, Vietnam, whether it was for Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Iraqi Freedom, all the different conflicts that caused the Johnnies and the Lou's and the Sams and the Franks and all the others to have to go. The brave men that you see standing here with the uniforms of American Legion and VFW were among those Johnnies who answered their nation's call. For that, you have eternal respect from all of us and eternal love from all of us. But for the Gold Star mothers who are here, the difference is those trains did come back, ultimately, in 1918 and in 1945 and in 1953 and in 1972. And there were Johnnies and Lou's and Franks and Sam's that walked off those trains. They were greeted by their mothers and their fathers and the girlfriends or wives that waited for them while they fought. For these women, those Johnnies didn't get off that train. Those Lou's and Franks did not get off that train. The grandchildren that they would have had to play with these years, great-grandchildren perhaps by now, that is the sacrifice that we're honoring here today. What the village has done by, by enshrining this, what has been done by the veterans to be here to, to put their signature of respect on this moment is much greater than what any of us in elective office can say. I would only say one thing to the Gold Mothers, for those who, uh, I happen to be Roman Catholic, for those of us who are in church today, I'm sure Father Eric will relate to this. The Gospel reading was the story of Jesus talking to the Pharisees about uh, the life of Lazarus, who was poor by the gate. And Lazarus, ultimately, as much suffering as he endured in this life, was in the bosom of Abraham. I assure you, your sons, your daughters, as we speak and ever since, are in the bosom of Abraham, protected and loved. Loved by us here on earth, and loved by the Almighty God. Thank you, Senator. You did not disappoint. Um, well, we hope everybody's okay. The next lady I want to bring up. Um, We did not arrange that, so. <laughs> Assemblywoman Amy Pauling, and she has been to just about everything we've ever done. Um, and I know we're not the only group that she comes to, so she's a busy lady, and she never, never hesitates to give up her own free time. Amy, come on up.
I'm humbled to be with you today to honor Tuckahoe's Gold Star Mothers and Gold Mothers, Gold Star Mothers everywhere and to dedicate this bridge to them. What a beautiful idea. A tribute to the people who have suffered so much, the mothers of our fallen soldiers. Upon learning upon the symbolism of this bridge, it brought tears to my eyes. Such a visual, physical reminder of the tremendous sacrifice some Americans were asked to make will be long lasting. I would like to thank the mayor, the town supervisor, our veterans for taking on this initiative. Times such as these remind us that we are all neighbors and that the lives that were lost matter not just to their relatives and friends, but to the many people who understand the true meaning of freedom. Thank you. And last but not least, um, County Legislator Sheila Marcotte. She's, um, she's been instrumental in almost everything we've done as veterans, and, and we really want to thank her from the bottom of our heart. She's always with us, and she's always pushing to get the agenda through. Sheila, come on up. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Commander. Thank you to all our veterans who are here today. Thank you for your service. I'd like to thank the village for putting this together and finally getting done something that should have been done over a decade ago. And of course, thank you to our Gold Star Mothers. For you, of course, have suffered an unimaginable loss, and we are here today to remember that. About 12 years ago, and I don't really remember this, but this bridge was done over. It had a whole makeover, and honestly, I can't remember really what it looked like then. I don't know if you can, but they say evidence of positive change is when you can't remember what something looked like before, and that's a good thing. Today is significant because we are renaming this bridge, the Gold Star Mother Memorial Bridge. No longer will it be referred to as the Main Street Bridge, and for our future villagers, future commuters, people that will cross over this space hundreds of times a day, this will become the Gold Star Mother Memorial Bridge. And that is the best way that we can pay honor, perpetuate the honor for which they fought and died, and pay tribute to the so many men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice. So I am happy that this is going to be named that, and it will forever be known in this village as that bridge, and that is significant. So thank you very much. Thank you for all you've done today. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, before we unveil the signs, uh, I sat down last night and I was writing a speech and I ended up tearing most of it and throwing it away. There's a poem on the, on the, on the bridge. Thank you, dear. And uh, I'm going to read that in a minute, but I just want to give you a couple of thoughts. A lot of people have, have said, why just Gold Star Mothers? Why not the families? But this is not just Gold Star Mothers. This is families. This is fathers. This is brothers. This is sons. This is daughters. We have Gold Star families here. We have brothers and sisters that have lost somebody in the war. But the mother is the family. She bore the pain of bringing that child into the world. And even adoptive mothers bring the mental pain of bringing a child into the world. They, they go through the joys and the sadness of the child growing up. They're the ones mostly changing the diapers and they get to hear the first word and see the first step. It's very special to them. And that pain that they feel at the end is much deeper because of the pain and the joy they felt in the beginning. When a Gold Star brother or sister lost their brother or sister in a war, the first place they would go would be to mom. And that's what this is here for. These ladies share a limelight, a limelight they don't want. It's not easy for them to come to these ceremonies because it reminds them of what they lost. They're blessed. But they're here as a reminder to us that war is hell. And we have some great young men and women ready to stand up for this country, willing 
willing to go out and protect us, no matter where it is in the world. You have two standing right to my right here. It's a testament to this great nation and the great people that make it up. So once again, thank you ladies. I'm sorry for your, your loss. And only you can miss them more than we do. The poem here is in, on two plaques divided in half. It's also on the, what I call the most beautiful monument in the country up in Memorial Park in East Chester. It was written not just to, this, to show the loss, but also to, to show the life before. And that's what the monument does up there. It shows a mother and her, and her child. And the child is reaching out. They're not holding hands, but the hands are almost touching. That's the eternal reach for the hands. And these mothers have to know in their hearts that their hands will once again touch. The poem is called, You Will Always Live On. You will always live on in my mind and my heart. I remember the days till last we did part. I think of the child that loved to play in the sand. And when, when we walked, always holding my hand. Hold on to me, Mommy. Don't let me get lost. Oh, I would hold on forever. I would pay any cost. But I could not be with you. I could not be there when the world took you from me, gave back only a prayer. That pain lives forever. My heart cannot mend. I'll die a little each day till I hold you again. And now I'd like to call up... Excuse me one second. Mayor Steve Eklund and Commander Joe Mamana to unveil the plaque. of what the plaque will look like. It's, it's coming in, in, in bronze. Um, as you know, when the military or veterans do things, there's always a snafu, so there was a delay in that. But it's, that's exactly what it's gonna look like, and that should be here in a couple of weeks. I wanna thank the uh, veterans of both posts for uh, standing behind this 100%. Um, again, they're, uh, they're paying for all this, and uh, they love doing it. And now I'd like to ask Father Raza to come back up, give a benediction and a blessing for the black. Uncover, please rise. <laughs> oh God, set forth your heavenly benediction and your blessings and your graces upon all who are gathered here today, most particularly our gold starred mothers, our servicemen and women, our veterans, our town and our country. Afford us never to forget the sacrifices of our young men and women who gave their lives for us all. Hold us and hold them most particularly in the palm of your hands. Bless this plaque, bless this bridge and all who travel it. And may on that day when we all rejoice forever in our heavenly homeland, amen. Thank you, Father. Please remain standing while they retire the colors. March off. And salute. Miss Smith. Thank you all so much for coming. It's been wonderful having you here. Please
join us up at the VFW. We're having coffee, cake, and a little luncheon. If you need directions, um, Pete Leturz has been handing out maps. If you need to follow somebody, please raise your hand. We'll get out there. But thank you all so much. You're all dismissed. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I have to apologize for um, Victoria was going to sing um, God Bless the USA, but we messed up on our, our sound system and she couldn't uh, have it. If Vito wants to come up, I'm sure he'd, le he'd lead us in God Bless America. <laughs> okay. You want to do it? Everybody want to do it? Come on, let's do it. Ready? God Bless America. Are we going to take a picture of all the veterans here?